So guys, I wanted to show you, I know I said this page was going to be real and transparent. I uh, do not usually show my face with no foundation and stuff on. I did have to put some eyebrows on because I have no eyebrows due to chemo. Um, even two and a half years after I finished my chemo, I still don't have eyebrows. I have like little pieces of hair here and there, but I still don't have them in all the way, so I shave what I have. I still don't have my full eyelashes. I do have some. Um, but not much. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, only thing I did was I used my Juno Moonshine Miracle Cream. And then I used their Blur Setting Powder. And I used a little bit of Jeffree Star um, Mannequin Lip Color. And the Juno Blur Setting Powder. I have three spots here from some breakouts that I had. I use Kiehl's skincare, which is amazing skincare. It's probably the best I've used in a long, long time. I was using skincare from my shop club, which was amazing too. I loved it. But then I decided to kind of use some different serums and things from Kiehl's and I just fell in love with them. And I started using their skincare and I love their skincare line. It's a little more expensive than some of the other skincare lines I've tried in the past, but it's completely worth it. Like everything they have is worth every dime that they they charge for their stuff and it's not like overly expensive it's not like way up there in price some of their stuff's very very reasonable their basic skincare line their cleansers and things like that are very reasonable um their serums some of their serums are a little higher but to me and i'm a budget person you can ask anybody um i'm a budget friendly person very very budget conscious person i should say so yeah so for me that's that they're a good price but anyhow, I wanted to show you guys, um, I usually don't show this part of me. I don't even open my door if I don't have makeup on. I just wanted to show you um, how the, the Moonshine Miracle Cream Primer hides imperfections, some wrinkles. And then these three spots here. This one was actually like a little stone in my skin. I forgot what it's called. It's some kind of dermatological name. And I, I got it at myself because my social anxiety disorder, I didn't want to go and have it dug out. So I did it myself. And this was just a little pimple that I had. Um, it's kind of on there. I do have vitiligo, which is what this is. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's actually a pigmentation disease. I have it through here. Michael Jackson had it. I don't go in the sun. I'm allergic to the sun, and these spots will literally blister really, really bad if I go in the sun and I get hives that itch like crazy, and it increases the amount of vitiligo that I have. So I don't go in the sun at all. That didn't hit till I hit 40. I didn't have any problem with any of this, any of this till I hit 40. But anyway, these little imperfections I have on my skin is just from the malnutrition from the anorexia. But the Juno Primer. And the Juno Blur Setting Powder has actually hidden most of that. If you'd have seen it before I put that on, you wouldn't have noticed it at all. And then I use a little bit of their, I'm going to show you. I have on their brush, there's a little bit of pow uh, one of, out of their little palette with their blush on there. There's a little bit left from yesterday. I'm just going to kind of pop some color on my cheeks. Just a little bit, just to kind of wake my skin up a little bit. That way I don't look like death warmed over. So there I go. That's enough for me for the day. Because I really didn't feel up to it after feeding my snakes and stuff this morning. I'm just kind of, this afternoon. I don't know, I'm just in kind of in a blah mood. You know, we all get those moods, and I just kind of wanted to get on here and show you guys it's okay to have those moods. It's okay to get on camera and show those moods. Normally, I would not show this me, but I want you to see this me. Because, like I said, I want my page to be real and transparent, and this is me being real and transparent, even with all my little weird imperfections. But I do want to do a makeup haul. Someone had requested that. My love, Miss Brittany, she's my son's girlfriend, and she asked for a makeup haul. So, on my next video, I am going to show you guys my Juvia's Place makeup. Juvia's Place has my heart. They have so much makeup. Um, and they're so reasonably priced, guys. Let me tell you, 
wait till you see all the stuff I have. I have every single one of their um, eye palettes they've done. I have their blush palettes. I have some of their lip colors. I have some of their highlighters. I have a little bit of everything they have. So, and I do have their found. That's the only foundation that I use is Juvia's Place. They have a stick foundation and a liquid foundation that's um, in a tube. And that's the only thing that I use. It's the only thing that I found that provides full coverage for my face, that actually works with my skin type, that actually stays on. It's just the best for my skin. It's amazing. I love it. But anyway, I'm going to show you a big makeup haul. I'm going to show you everything that I have. I'm going to show you how I like have it in the little case that I have. I'm just going to show it all. Just wait. It's going to be a fun one because... Just, just wait. Wait till I show you everything that I have. And I'm only going to show you that brand because I just want to show you specifically that brand. And then I can show you some other stuff um, in different videos. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here really quick and show you what the Juno kind of blurs out. And no foundation at all on my skin. And how it looks just with that. And even with my jacked up eyebrows, just thrown on and not even cut out or anything. And... Yeah, this is me. Take it or leave it. Share if you want. Like if you want. Subscribe if you want. But here I am. Everyone have a blessed day. God gave you this day. Go out and make the best of it. Bye.